Hello. Welcome back to. Oh, I'm not where I should be. Okay, let's head, let's head there first. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Welcome to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. We're about to start doing the Delta episode. Or rather, we've already started it, to be honest, haven't we? Um, I just need to, you know, properly start it. Okay, so it's not a very nice and efficient... Okay, it's not a very nice and efficient start to the Dilla episode to have a death being put in the box. So, yeah. Yeah, this thing might not be a Sneasel for long. <laughs> I do remember Sneasel's level up condition means that it'll only level up during the night. So I really shouldn't be recording right now. I probably should be recording Banjo first so that I'll have a Weavile. But... I know. Why not just use Sneasel? I like Sneasel. I'm actually happily considering not evolving the Sneasel because, um, I'll show you why. Alright. And, uh, I know I'm probably going to be mocked for this. Uh, Gloom. I don't think it's outright stupid to consider giving Sneasel, um, Evil Light at some point. Because that special defense doesn't look that shabby. And it's not like he's got much less health than Gloom. So I don't know, it might be worth leaving it as a Sneasel. That and Sneasel looks so much cooler. <sighs> but yeah, he's got to hold the Razor Claw anyway, because I think I will just let him evolve. It's just a bit nice. It'll be nice to have more power behind its attacks. Especially for the rematch with the Elite Four. Alright. Alright, so we're going to put... Um, well, I guess a team recap actually is in order. I said I would raise up to level 55 at the end of the previous part. But I ended up battling an Ace Trainer who had 5 level 56s during my training. So I decided I'm just going to raise everything up to level 57, which was the level of Steven's weakest Pokemon. Alright, um, my team right now is looking like this. We've got a Rose Raid instead of Gloom now. Stare is back on the team, still rocking Growl. <laughs> the Ganados is still here. Ozumarill has not died yet. <laughs> Espeon is still here. I know I didn't show Espeon off a lot of the Elite Four, but Believe me, it's been racking when I've been using it against other stuff. Uh, and uh, Sneasel is here. Uh, I think it's worth showing my B team as well, because I did get my B team all the way up to level 57 as well. So if anyone dies, I've got an immediate replacement ready. Uh, the villain is up there. That's the hidden power fire still, I think. Uh, there's the Gallade. There is the Luxray. Luxray is one that I'm really thinking about putting on the team. Because level, 50, uh, level 57, it has guts, it's got a high attack stat. It can learn Volt Switch. I think Luxray might be a decent thing to put on the team at some point. Um, we've got Sand Slash. We've got Gloom, obviously. And we've got that Rockhead Agron. That, that 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 head smash Rex. Agron is another one that might very likely go on the team if it wasn't for the fact that he's really slow. Autonomize does help, but not enough. At least not in game. Competitively, it would be really very useful, but in game I have to do that for every single encounter with something. So yeah. Anyway, let's actually continue with plot, shall we? <laughs> Alright, we were told that we had to go and uh, see Brendan and... Okay. We were told we had to go and see Brendan, so why don't we do that? This is Brendan's house, right? Bloody bike. <laughs> Professor Birch's house, which means yes, this is Brendan's house. Alright, plot! Uh, Brendan's apparently... Been in a bit of a bout. Oh! Oh, 
Okay. Wait, does that mean you don't have your mega bracelet? No, oh, I can still see the mega bracelet, so I guess it's literally just the stone from it, the thing that glows. All right, Petalberg. Behind the pet. Oh no! Just going to attack Wally. That's the only thing I can think of from there. All right, we're not going to be using the Eon flute to go all around. All right, so that's uh, that'll be the Xena lady. Xena's stealing people's keystones then. Not cool. All right. Uh, oh, what's Matt doing here? All right, battle. Let's see how high a level that I did need to be. Because I do think there's a high possibility I might be over leveled. But at the same time, I battled a level uh, ace trainer with level 56s everywhere. So I'm not too. Fifty-three. And it still is only Pokemon. And he uses Skull. I'm overleveled. That's incredibly irritating. I am overleveled. I would have been overleveled at level 55. Why is there an ace trainer somewhere in Hoenn that's got five level 56s and you've only got a level 53 Sharpedo? Right, I guess that means Meteor Falls is where I should go next then. Um, thank you so much, Ammer. Well, they attacked me demanding that I hand over my... Oh, it's already... Why would you leave it inside? That's a little bit silly. The entry call app ran on your... Sorry to ask this of you, but I need you to go to Devon. Oh. Well, I guess we're off to Devon then. I'm going to be trying not to use the Eon Flute so much, okay? It's just how I am right now. Oh, the Wingle. Alright. Do you know, uh, I'm not likely to actually get into a, a situation where I need an encounter, so I'm going to bring the map up. Actually, do you know what? I can get an encounter. Because I have not been here yet. Route 105. I've also not been to that route, but considering that that's there, I might save that for uh, another time. But yeah, Route 105. Okay, I'll go get the Route 105 encounter right now. That makes sense, right? <laughs> um, I do have a surfer on me. Stare. Alright. I am still going to use a rod to get it, though. Alright, the encounter is... What, hope, it's probably going to be wonder traded anyway, it's not worth knowing. Tentacool! Right, I'm pretty sure I can't weaken this, so... <laughs> Doo -doo. Oh yeah, I got a second Master Ball from something via Wonder Trade. Obviously that Master Ball is out of the question, I'm not using it in this flip block. But that's going to be handy for getting the Kyogre. Kyogre does reset. I went back to check, and Kyogre is there again. Alright, so, uh, Ultra Balls. Tentacool. How much do I bet I keep this? Because it's always there. That's actually landed quite nicely. It's a wonder trade. <sighs> Alright, Acid Spray. Um, before the Elite Four, 
Before I took on the Elite Four, I was heavily considering going and finding one of these new Toxic Spikes to get Tabitha poisoned. And then going into the Elite Four with a poisoned Tabitha, so that he's doing more damage. I'm really glad I didn't do that. Because he would have died a lot more quickly to Frostlass. On the other hand, he might have killed it with knockoff, because I remember it just lived. Alright, this is being wander traded, so it turns out I do need to connect online. <laughs> Durr. Also, I don't think I've covered how I was handling the Mirage Islands. Um, those Mirage areas that I've been putting up without commentary for the most part, um, I've noticed that there is more than one Mirage Island. There's more than one Mirage Cave. There's more than one Mirage Mountain. Stuff like that. What I've been doing is um deciding that if it says Mirage Island, then that's my encounter for the Mirage Islands. If I if it says Mirage Cave, that's my encounter for the Mirage Caves. So yeah, that's how I've been doing it, in case you're wondering whether I'm gonna to go to every single island, because I'm not gonna remember every single island I've been to. It's much easier to remember I've gotten something from Mirage Island rather than that specific Mirage Island. <laughs> okay. Just thought I'd clear that up considering I'm not doing commentary over that stuff. Because that's usually when I've been just roaming around, leveling my team up, wandering around the world. And, uh... You know, it's not that common, I think. So... That's something I want to point out. I am actually recording this whole thing. I'm just not putting my face on the thing because a fair bit of it's been done in the middle of the night. So, yeah. I could swear I selected Wander Trade. Okay. 554. Five, I'm not that far from getting the actual po uh, data for the... I'm pretty sure I'm at 400 and something as well. Alright, it's this Tentacle. Clear body's not that great on the Tentacle. <laughs> Alright, what am I going to get? Place your bets in the comments below. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping that the recording, by the way, will be nice and smoother as well, because um, what I've done recently is I've changed my recording setup because I end up using Movie Maker to publish these things anyway. And Movie Maker has a capped frame rate, I think, at 25 or something. It's not that good. As a result, I'm recording everything at 30 frames per second now. Because there's no point recording higher. It wasn't in the first. Ooh, Onyx. I actually don't mind that. I kind of like Onyx. Chad sent over Onyx. Yeah, Onyx isn't going to be used. But I don't mind getting Onyx. That's kind of neat. <laughs> 